Hello fellow makers and welcome back to 3D Printed Soup. Now you might ask me what I love best about 3D printing. Is it the ability to not be tied to what's available at your shop or on Amazon? Basically you can be able to print your own stuff and basically get anything you could possibly imagine. Is it the ability to rap rapidly prototype ideas and create things from your brain straight onto the 3D printer and just take them off in a solid tangible form? Yeah, I do like that. No, my favourite thing is print-in-place mechanics and print-in-place mechanisms. What's a print-in-place, you might ask? Printing-in-place is a design which is designed to basically be printed from start to finish in one go with no assembly or extra bits needed. You can print it from top to bottom, pop it off your print bed, and the only thing you need to do is maybe remove some support material. Other than that, it works as intended straight off. And 3D printing can do incredible things like that. You couldn't do these with injection molding. The only way you can do it is with additive creation and a 3D printer. I've seen great examples like dice printed inside cages and music boxes that print straight off with absolutely no extras needed. They just work straight away. Or as simple as printing off a whistle with a little ball in it. But basically you can blow it, it makes the, makes the, sort of the football whistle noise, but it's printed off, you haven't had to add anything to it, it just comes straight off and working. So I thought, you know what, let's demonstrate the wonders of 3D printing and print in place and choose three or four really good designs. I found a couple of very, very good designs on Thingiverse and on 3D Cults and a few other websites as well. Links in the description below as always. And yeah, I'm going to print these out and show you exactly what 3D printing can do. And you can use this to demonstrate to your friends and family and all the doubters and naysayers that 3D printing is practical and it's something which nothing else is like. Before I do that, however, thanks to everyone who's liked to subscribe this month. There's loads of you. We're only 40 away from 1,000. That's been on my bloody dream board for a while. Yes, I have a dream board. Don't think about it too often and you don't want to know what else is on there. But hey, anyone who hasn't liked to subscribe, and there's quite a few of you, like 99% according to my analytics. Oh, gotta love analytics. Tells you everything you don't need to know about your YouTube channel. But hey, if you haven't, drag your cursor down, click the subscribe button, click the bell next to it. You'll always know when I upload a video and you'll be part of the 3D printing community. Don't just sit there in place, click the button and get printing in place. Now, let's do some examples of print in place mechanics and mechanisms that print straight off your hotbed. Let's give this a try. Okay, with a few examples to show you, this is what I love about print in place. You can make these incredibly beautiful, complicated, moving models that just basically have no assembly required. You put in the uh, STL file, you set the right settings, you do a couple of uh, easy uh, tweaks, and then you get these wonderful movable things. In this case, this is a sort of gecko slash red-eyed lizard and yeah all of these joints all print straight from the printer there is no adding or clipping needed i used a um 
a raft around it uh, just just to make sure it all stayed in one place. Once that was removed, however, though, this thing is beautifully poseable and just looks absolutely wonderful. Stick a bit of colour on there and some highlights or just leave it in the one colour and it looks great. I then went on a slightly more complicated one and this is a skeletal dragon. It also comes with wings, but I didn't like the wings. I just like just like the uh, skull and the... Uh, and the rib cage and and, 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 and and the whole spinal thing to it. And yeah, this thing is very, very flimsy, however. The big one at the top is much, much uh, more substantial. This one um, you have to be a bit careful with, but it does move beautifully. It just feels great in your hands. It's very therapeutic, sort of bending it around your, around your fingers. It's, yeah, it's very, very cool. And if you printed this out in ABS, it would be a lot, lot stronger. Um, but yep. Yeah, both of these print straight from the printer, no additions needed. Just get the uh, settings right and they come out beautifully. Now the next kind of print in place is uh, things like this. These just look like a regular 3D printed ring and yeah 3D printed jewellery is amazing. But this is a little trick to it. It's two parts. So this in fact actually is a rotating almost fidget spinner kind of ring. Although fidget spinners aren't cool anymore. Um, so basically this one allows you to have a fidget spinner because they actually serve a purpose and were not just for silly idiot kids. They were actually a useful thing before they got hijacked by popular culture. And yeah, you can put this around your finger and it just, just twists and you can sit there like you're giving a presentation or you're talking to people and you want something to do with your hands. Just having one of these on just means you can just sort of twist it around. Plus they look really, really cool. And yeah, these just print straight off. You don't need any kind of raft and any kind of uh, support. You just put it in, it prints straight off, and you can just quietly, quietly rotate this on your finger just to give you that bit of cognitive reinforcement. I'm going to paint one of these brass later and put some oxide on it to make it look sort of ancient and really, really cool just to see um, if I can get it to paint and still work. But we'll try that later on. That's for another video. Now, getting a little bit more complicated with um, print in place, we have got this beauty. This is a ball bearing sleeve. And yep, yeah, if you look inside any sort of modern uh, freewheeling um device whether it be a trolley or one of those scooters or your rollerblades if you're from the 90s and yeah the 90s are back so I imagine you all got rollerblades you'll have these inside the wheels in the old days you get a horse and cart and you'd have the wheel attaching straight onto the axle and it would be bumpy and it would not be efficient then we invented ball bearings each one of these ball bearings takes part of the weight and it means that the wheel can spin a lot faster for a lot longer and a lot more smoothly. It's a fantastic invention and now being able to 3D print these is amazing. Imagine if you had a Metal X 3D print or something like that, you could print one of these and actually create proper ball bearings. But yeah, it's lovely. Now, moving on, check this bad boy out. This prints in one print and this is probably my favourite. What's it look like? It's got a sort of a spring and uh, some cogs on the side and there's some kind of button but what happens give it a press and yeah it is a spring loaded print in place box you press the button it releases the catch the stored energy in the plastic printed spring spins the flywheel which then basically uh, connects to the cog on the side of the lid and throws it open and it's even got a little catch. It looks like a mechanical catch on it as well. It's absolutely beautiful, this thing. Um, I printed it out slightly roughly because I wanted to see um, whether it would work um, on sort of normal settings. But yeah, you print this thing out on fine settings and yeah, it's going to look amazing. You just put your stuff in it. In this case, these fidget rings. Close it up. Click and that lovely little locking mechanism there. I mean, look at that mechanism. That mechanism there is just absolutely beautiful. And it opens up by itself. I put a little bit of grease on it just purely because, hey, plastic on plastic, as I've said before in all my other videos, it's going to start wearing out after a while. Yeah, and all these things are basically plastic on plastic. So, yeah, a little bit of grease on all the moving parts, uh, whether it be the skeleton or the rings. And, yeah, just keep them um, nice and unworn. But yeah, 
Printing in place is one of the best things 3D printers can do. It's the kind of thing you can't do on any other medium. You can just create stuff. You can have things inside things and mechanical structures that basically just work straight off. I mean, these ball bearings, I think actually the ball bearings are my favourite. It just demonstrate how 3D printing works. I didn't think out that action. Um, how, how these things work um, straight off. And yeah, the kind of unique stuff you can do with only 3D printing. So yeah, additive uh, building and technology at its best here. And skeletons and rings and ball bearings, absolutely amazing. Thanks so much for watching 3D Printed Soup. Don't forget to like and subscribe. All the links to these and other 3D printed print in place models are in the description below. Stay happy, stay safe, keep printing in place.